Hi, good morning. This is Saturday morning and the sun is shining and the birds are singing and there's lots of, lots and lots of signs of spring and even early summer. Over the past few days, I managed to see a few bees and that's mainly because one of the things I grow here in the garden, I think I've told you before, is the, is the ribes, the flowering currant. And all that's in flower at the moment, which is brilliant because it means that bees that do come out of, our, of hibernation early have something to feed on. So this is one of the hedges here. But I grow the ribes as a hedge and I also grow it as um, just um, shrubs as well. And it just grows from cuttings, which is amazing. I've been tidying up all the beds, just digging in. Um, well, not really even digging the beds, because as you can see, the beds are mostly mulched. But just tidying up the edges. So cutting in just with a spade there. So when it comes to keeping the paths tidy and um, mowing, it just makes it a lot easier. And all the mowings, um, all the clippings, the grass clippings I put onto the compost, so everything is used. Now you can see here the black currant bushes are coming on. And also there's a real thickening now of the buds on the apple trees. There's sort of a, a tinge of pink all over them now. And even some of them are opening. Now I've been shredding quite a lot of um, um, clippings as, as I've gone around pruning shrubs and trees and making the garden as tidy as possible before this abundant growth. So I've been shredding everything and um, then I've put the shredding, well some of the shreddings I've put down here on the paths. Most of them now go onto the compost or go onto the beds themselves, but I don't want to put anything more in the beds because I've put quite a lot of um, compost and, 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 and various other mulches down in these beds over the course of the winter, the autumn and winter. Now, um, where I've dug out along this rhubarb bed, look, I've just dumped some of the sods up there underneath these black currants. Now that's going to be a black currant hedge and that started life just as I trimmed off black currants and I just put the cutting straight into the ground. Um, with an awful lot of shrubs there's, there's actually no need to prepare beds. You can just insert them straight into the ground and even if the ground is covered with weeds and grass and everything else it doesn't make a lot of difference you know. So it's starting to look a little bit more um, defined because within the next few weeks here um, all this becomes just lush and you can see very little other than <laughs> things growing <laughs> which is wonderful, I love it. Now I'll just um, quickly go in here to the tunnel and you can see what I've been doing in here. My executive chair there is covered with bits and pieces of of labels and pens and, and things that I have to sort out. Um, and I've been doing a lot of potting here. I've um, got some little nasturtiums coming up there. The tunnel again, what I've done is I've really tidied this up. And um, I've created like a, a beaten earth floor in here now which would be quite easy just to keep sweeping. Um, I've been harvesting a lot of the um, broccoli, the purple sprouting broccoli, because I've been making smoothies recently. And um, the smoothies have a lot of broccoli and stuff in them. Now look what I just see there, a little bird in the tunnel. The little rascals come in here and they spend the night in here. Let me just get a little close up. Um, okay, there we go. Look at that little rascal. The birds have become very, very confident, even though I have three cats. 
The cats are too well fed and they're too lazy to go and do anything about the birds. <laughs> Which is really how you want cats. So there you go, he's gone out now. Now, just before I sign off, you can see all the beautiful blossom out in the nectarine tree. Charred there, I'm still harvesting that. And last but not least, my little seed, seed bay here. I've got layers and layers of seeds going on here. And I'm being very optimistic, even with this cold weather at nights. Well, it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Have a good one, folks. Bye.